Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Encouraging Word. My name is Jeremy Henderson, and I'm blessed to be the pastor of the Butler Church of the Nazarene right here in Butler, Missouri. Today we're going to take up where we left off the last couple of weeks in terms of discovering how to find real peace at Christmas. Now, if you've been a Christian for even a small amount of time, you've perhaps heard about something called a peace that passes all understanding. But have you truly experienced it? Well, the good news is it's attainable. It's available. In the last two weeks, we've looked at two key steps for experiencing true and lasting peace in our lives. We've discovered that first, we need to experience a moment of clarity. And second, we must express an attitude of humility. And that leads us to our third and final step. We need to expect Jesus to help us. Now, this is what you might call the faith factor in our lives. Now, let me assure you that we are not talking about you giving God $10 and through your faith, God is going to give you a thousand. Uh, we're not talking about a faith force that you use on God so that he has to do what you want him to do. What we're talking about here is a genuine faith in God that says, I know you're present in my life. I know you love me. And I know that your promises are true. And therefore, I choose to surrender my life into your hands. And I trust you with it. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He came to earth to bring peace to our hearts. He summarizes how he brings that peace in a single sentence in Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Friends, if we truly put this into practice, our stress levels will drop. You see, Jesus promises us a rest beyond anything that we've ever experienced. It's deeper than the physical. It is a soul-level rest. You see, our problems, the vast majority of the time, they're not overworked muscles. They're overworked minds and overworked spirits. We need rest from anxiety, tension, guilt, and fear. And the way to experience that kind of peace isn't found in a vacation to Tahiti. Now, that'd be nice for sure, but more than likely, we just bring all of our troubles with us because they're in our minds. And the peace we need, the peace for a weary soul, is found when we come to Jesus and place our lives and the control of them into His hands. It is an act of faith that shows that we believe in who Jesus really is and that we expect Him to help us because we trust in Him. I hope this devotion has encouraged you today, and, and I hope that you will also join me on December 24th at 6.30 p.m. for Butler Nazarene's Christmas Eve service. We'd love for you to be our guest, and I'm certain that if you'll do exactly that, you'll discover that God loves you and that you belong at Butler Church of the Nazarene. God bless you all, and Merry Christmas.